This is just a quick demo on how to use the QR button in the Casio ClassWiz. So right now I have the ClassWiz emulator open on my computer and I also have some data that I just pulled from the EAPS data zoo. Um, so I'm going to go in and enter that data first, which I've already done, but I'm going to show you the steps I took. So I first went to the menu and chose the statistic option, which then had me choose how many variables, so I chose number two. And here is my data. So I simply, I've decided this is roller coaster information, so I'm going to do the largest drop compared to the height. So you simply enter your data, so I'm going to use the largest drop as my X. So I'm using the keyboard right now to enter my data, which for me is the fastest way to do it. You can actually enter the buttons on your calculator as well with the mouse when you're using the emulator, but I have a keyboard control which makes it a lot faster for me. So then I'm going to arrow over go back up to the beginning of my Y's. So if you were using this with students, they had their calculator in their hand, they're collecting their own data, they're going to enter their data into their tables. So now I'm going to enter mine. Um, so students can be going around the room collecting data, entering it into their table. And then when they're finished, since this calculator, this is the class with, this is a scientific calculator, does not have a graphing picture. But with the QR code, now we can actually see a graphical visual representation. So I'm done entering my data and you'll look here on the calculator you'll see where it has a shift button in yellow and right underneath that there's the option button with right above it it says QR so that means I need to hit the shift and then choose the option and this creates an automatic QR code now if the students were using their handheld and the teacher wanted to see several different graphs she could if she had the smartphone app scan their QR codes it would create a URL and then see each student's graph. But since as a teacher I'm using the emulator right now, I also have this quick QR button that automatically pops up on my screen. When I click it, it takes me immediately to the visualization of that data. So now you'll see here the table and if I go back to my um, go back to my table here, it's the same table data that was in my calculator. It's now on the internet here. And now here is a scatter plot of my data. Now it does look like this particular data has a linear relationship, but you see I have several different um, graph representations I could choose. I think it looks linear, so let's see what that would look like. So when I click it, it now creates a graph, and that's a pretty good fit. Now I may think, oh, perhaps it's not linear, maybe it's a little bit more quadratic. Not quite as good a fit. But again, nice visual representation of my data, and I can play around with the different graphs. So that's a quick how to use QR codes with the class.